Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, in this video, you'll see how to use the Arabic keyboard, how to write in Arabic. And let's say that there are three ways not to. The first one is to use the, the standard Arabic keyboard. And uh, you have just means that you have just to use your Windows and to add the, one of the, the available Arabic uh, layouts there. And to recognize the the positions of each letters of each letter you need like to buy stickers or a cover to um, or to order it from internet or to print a model you can uh, print a model like uh, a model like this one so this is one of the standard model printing it you will find many pictures if you write uh, Arabic keyboard in uh, Arabic keyboard in Google just print it in a paper and put it near you uh, just like to recognize the the position of each letter or of course you can also use the OS key the on-screen keyboard of Windows just look for OS key and you will get that keyboard but it's not it's not really easy to use that keyboard when when you are using something else it will take space from your um, from your screen if you have just one screen okay let's continue the second way is to use a phonetic layout. Phon what is a phonetic layout? So, um, let's say that a phonetic layout use your native language to write Arabic. It means it uses the the position and the placings or of or of the keys that are in your la in your uh, native uh, language or native keyboard means that if you use for example QWERTY in English or SRT in French if you write B the Latin B you will get B the Arabic equivalent the same thing for all the other letters like Z you will get Z for for Q you will get Qaf uh, for T you will get T for K, K you will get Kaf and, and M, M you will get M so this is how it works a phonetic keyboard it make it 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 makes this thing easy um, by uh, it may by simplifying the um, the use of the keyboard it means that you don't have to learn a new um, a new emplacement of um, of the arabic um, of the arabic keys but just using the old one with um, some few differences so what you can do for that is download in a ready one so just go in google write something like uh, phonetic arabic keyboard um, you will find with you will uh, you will find some uh, some uh, some uh, some uh, ready keyboards or layouts and the second way is by creating your own layout and for that there are also many ways and uh, microsoft have uh, microsoft has a program for that called uh, create a Microsoft keyboard layout creator I think so using that software and this is what I did to create the, um, the layout that I will present inshallah the third way is using a translator software using a translator software uh, I will not recommend that because you will be dependent on English it means that uh, you will write for example number 7 and you will get ha you will write like dh you will get dal and th for that so I will not recommend this way um, so just use one of the of these first options the using standard Arabic keyboard or using a uh, phonetic layout so that of course the, the standard Arabic keyboard is optimal uh, in a way uh, for the for the Arabic use it means that when you write you will write um, faster using this keyboard like um, the QWERTY or the other kinds are optimal for for other uses okay so you see here that um, if you want to memorize this one the standard one there is like um, some order like sad dad fa qaf ain ga sin is in the place of s and after sin there is sha uh, sheen and up here you have jim ha ha so there is a kind of order, pa va. So you can you can like um, try to recognize the pattern of this um, 
of this original keyboard and for the short vowels are they are here fatha fathatan dhamma dhammatan kasra kasratan sukun and shadda uh, of course the, the the short vowels are used when you click on shift plus these letters and you have here the so you can memorize of course this one l r here so l is in h g you have l l if you want to write l it's faster okay now what i will um, explain to you is the um, the, the the keyboard that i uh, i suggested to use So this one is a keyboard, just one minute. Okay. I think that it's clear to see it. So what do we have here? We have a trial phonetic layout. Yeah, and of course it needs to be custom, inshallah. So here I put it just the letters, it doesn't really, it's not important. So let's start. Here we have Q. In the place of Q, we have Qaf. In W, it's well. Wow. In the in in the E we have Ain because they look same. They are similar. E I R R T you have ta and if you use the shift you will get ta emphatic T. For the Ya with over the, the letter Y you have for Ya and if you click on the shift you get um Elif Maqsura without dots. Here you have Fatha the the vowels the short vowels Fatha Kasra Dhamma and if you shift you have tanween uh, here I made the sukun for the alif it's um, for the a it's alif sin you have uh, you have it on s and sod the emphatic s sod because we used to write it in capital s like sod ta and uh, ha for example we used to write it like that to distinguish between them so if you are used to write in this way or for example dad bad so if you are familiar with that it will be easy for you s um, we have dal and bad if you shift we have f you have rin ga you have in h ha and ha if you shift jim ja Kaf, Lam, Zay, but if you shift you will have the the Zay and the are closest letters the closest sounds for for some um, languages they don't have the the or the so they use instead of that Zay this is why for example you get Salat al Zohr 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 instead of Zohr so uh, if you shift Zay you will have the the uh, the and um, in the for the X and the C, I choose uh, in the, in my language uh, in one of Tamazight language. Using the Latin characters, Tamazight is written in many ways, in many uh, using many alphabets. Using the Latin alphabets, alphabet they use X for Kh because the X is a compound sound. It's K S, so that doesn't make sense to keep it Kh. And for the C, we have S. So in English, we have S and C, and they make the same sound. Uh, for the C, it's Ash, uh, Sha, Sheen. You see? So this is like one of the differences here. X is for Kha. C, uh, C is for Sheen. For the V, there is no V in Arabic. You can find V in uh, other la in other languages using the Arabic script but not in Arabic, not in the, the standard Arabic so using V, I, I wrote here Th in V so you have to memorize that Th is here uh, B is in B or maybe maybe I can move Th in B if you shift the B but it doesn't really make sense N so you have B, Th, maybe this is a nice way to memorize N and M and here is the Ta' Marbota because there is no special place for Ta' Marbota I put it here, Ta' Marbota um, what do we have? yes, we have here the Hamza and the Hamza ala nabira and we have Alif with Hamza below it and we have uh, this is uh, Mad 
uh, Adam for example Adam it's not Adam but Adam the, this sound is like Hamza and Alif so it's Hamza Mamduda Hamza Mamduda now uh, uh, for Dal here if you see I used Dal here this is just Dal I kept the Dal like in one of the standard keyboards the Dal is here Dal and Shadda so you have that if you shift you have shadda so this is used like that and uh, we said that we saw these and these are just special case here but um, don't follow a phonetic order the the, sm the small um, the short vowel or the signs like sukun here and uh, long vowels we have three long vowel here Additional characters, yeah. For the additional characters, characters, it's really, it's not really important. Just like the numbers, one, two, here, parentheses. Here we have uh, some signs, and here this one is elif. Um, we call it elif al khanjariya It's a small elif, but for example, when you read al rahman, you'll find below the mean small elif, or hada. When you say hada, in reality you write it like that. Hada. This is how it is written. هذا. but between ها and ذال there is a small ألف that we we don't write هذا هذه الله and if you see the name of Allah عز وجل there is also a small ألف on it الله um, so uh, what do we have I think that's all signs additional characters yes and of course um, what you need to do is to download from one of these links so you just like download it um, decompress and install the setup yes so you have to decompress that use for example the zip download this one the second one and inst install the setup that you have there and you will have your layout so just use alt and shift alt is and shift is that to switch from english to the to arabic or from arabic to english or go to the language uh, choices yeah in in your menu in the bottom near the clock there is like english eng click on it and you will find arabic and now enable it so um, and you will find like yes you will find two pictures to explain like uh, the, this the the layout the, that we are using and also you will find the the, the map the used map for uh, for the microsoft software uh, what can I say? So shift letter, yes. So mainly this is what I have here, and this is, these are the, the pictures. So this one is um, the first picture. This is how you will make uh, your keyboard if you want uh, using um, Microsoft Keyboard Layout Creator. And this one is when you shift to so here. I I check shift, and you have the shift the shift uh, alternative. And inshallah, the, this um, how to make your layout using Microsoft Keyboard. Uh, if you don't want like to download anything, and you want to be uh, to use your own keyboard to uh, personalize it and customize it in in your way. Uh, I explained that in in another video that you can see here. Um, so that's all, inshallah, for the moment. And maybe we'll take, uh, maybe I'll make another video to explain um, more about Arabic keyboards, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.